Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I'm back with another video tutorial and I'm having this idea haven't uh, still tried this out so let's see if this works together and uh, we'll be using a simple object I'm going to delete the default cube and hit shift A and I'm going to add mess a cone and set the vertices to 4 for the cone so we're having a pyramid here and I'll move over to the modifier panel and click add modifier and I'm going to add a bevel modifier okay and I think we're good at about here okay and now what I'll do I'll hit shift A and add empty and plain axis I'll change the name of this empty to 1 okay I'll hit Shift D to duplicate the empty. You can see it right here, but I'll hit the right mouse button to cancel any movement for the second empty. I'll call this one 2. Okay. And Shift D once more. All right. And this one will be empty called 3. Okay. Now we have our empties here in place. I'll hit the I key while the 3 empty is selected and insert a location rotation keyframe. Right mouse button click, select the empty 2 and hit the I key to insert a location rotation keyframe for frame 1. Alright. And now I'll select the uh, empty called 1 and hit the I key to insert a location rotation keyframe for this one as well. Now I'm going to select my object, my pyramid again, and I'll add an array modifier. For this array, I leave the count to 2 uncheck the relative offset and set the uh, offset to be determined by an object click object offset and select the first empty empty one I'll add another array and no we want an array and uncheck relative offset again check object offset and set it to two okay so the uh, offset for the array is determined by the empty called 2 okay and let's add a final array and again uncheck relative offset and check object offset and set it to 3 okay we're good and now split the 3d view and change the top 3d view into a graph editor okay now I'm going to select my empties we have the three empty here selected and I'm going to expand the location rotation uh, keyframes here and I'll also hit the N key for the properties tab here and let's select the X location for our empty and we have a flat line because we've only recorded one keyframe for location and rotation for frame one and what I'll do for this one, move down over to the modifiers and click add modifier and add some noise. You can see the noise appearing. I'll scroll down a bit. And we have the scale, the strength, the phase and the depth. I'll increase the scale and I'll increase it a lot because we want some smooth movement for the, for the empty here and the empty in turn will affect the array modifier. I'll change the scale to 90 and I'll also set the strength up to, let's say, 8. Okay. As you can see, we want a smooth curve here. We can even set it higher. Let's set it to 100. Alright. Now selecting the Z location. And for the Z location, for the empty, we will add another noise modifier. Set the scale up. Let's set it up to 120 and increase the strength, let's set it up to 5 or perhaps 7, 8, ok and I'll now move over to the rotation keyframes select the Y rotation add a noise modifier for this one as well I'll set the scale up to 80 and set the strength, let's set it to 2, ok and this curve right here affects the object, the empty rotation Alright, I'll also add a Z rotation noise modifier, click add modifier, select noise, set the scale, let's set it to 130, 
okay and let's leave the strength at one okay we're done with mt3 now i'm going to select mt2 and again expand the location rotation keys select the x location add a no noise modifier increase the scale let's set it up to 140 and i'm increasing the values again because i want to have a smooth curve for my uh, empty motion let's set the strength to 10 okay i'm going to select the z location click add modifier add some noise set the scale up to 150 and i'll increase the strength at 15 okay and you can also change the phase for a different uh, kind of curve let's change the phase for this one to 70 okay moving over to rotation i'm going to add some x rotation click add modifier and add noise again increase the scale let's set it up to 160 and set the strength leave the strength uh, to one and select the z rotation add some noise again set the scale up to 140 and set the strength let's set it to two all right and again selecting the final empty let's see okay expanding the location rotation let's select the y location click add modifier and add some noise again increase the scale let's set it up to 130 and set the strength up to let's say 16 okay and let's also add uh, some noise for the z location click add modifier noise increase the scale set it up to 170 and increase the strength let's set it up to 16 or perhaps 18 all right and moving over to the rotation let's set some rotation for the y-axis add noise increase the scale set it up to 120 and let's leave this one at one and the x rotation let's add some noise for this one as well let's set it up to 180 for the scale and let's set the strength up to two okay so looking good i'll move down here and hit play to take a look and you can see that we're having some motion here for the for the empties and the empties affect the array so we're getting this okay now what i'll do is select the pyramid the array actually and move over to the modifiers panel and let's modify the arrays a bit i'll set the count for the first array let's set it up to three i also set the count for the second array let's set it up to three as well and for the final array i'll increase the count let's set it up to 15. okay so you see what we're getting here and the good thing about it is that we're having the noise here affect the motion of the uh, array so we're not uh, actually inserting any keyframes for our uh, for our arrays here this is pretty nice and what i'll do now is uh, i'm at frame one and you can see my uh, arrays here i'll pick a good spot where i can see my entire arrays here and hit Control, alt and zero on my keyboard and i'm just placing the camera and i'll also hit the right mouse button on this frame to select it okay we can also hit z and y let's move it a bit away and z and x to move it at about here what i'll do now is while the camera is selected and we can see that the camera is selected uh, by this frame here that turns uh, orange and i'll now hit the i key and insert a location rotation keyframe for the camera for frame one okay now i'll move over to frame let's move at frame 30 okay and again i'm going to move away and try to take a good look at my system here at my rs here i think i'm good at about here and hit Control, alt and zero on my keyboard to position the camera at the place i'm looking 
So this looks good. I'll hit the I key and again the camera is selected to insert the location rotation keyframe for frame 30 for the camera. Okay, looking good. I'll move on to frame 60. Okay. Try to take a good look of my system here. And let's move over to the camera option. Select this, uh, click this little camera icon here. And what I'll also do is increase the clipping and so we're uh, not missing anything from our system and we're moving away from it and it's a good thing to increase the end clipping so we can see the entire thing and i think i'm good at about here i'll hit ctrl alt and zero let's position our camera here and hit the i key to insert the location rotation keyframe again i'll move over to frame 90 okay trying to pick a good spot, a good angle. I think we're good at about here. Okay. Hitting Ctrl Alt and Zero again and getting a nice frame of the array of the system. I'll hit Z and Z to grab and move my camera on the Z axis and I'll hit the I key to insert a location rotation keyframe. And again move to frame 120 and I'm moving 30 frames. Uh, for every camera keyframe let's take a good look i think we're good at about here i'll hit ctrl alt and zero to position my camera again at the place i was looking and hit the i key to insert a location rotation keyframe moving up to frame 150 and let's take another good look i think it looks good at about here and again, Control Alt and Zero to insert another keyframe for the camera, since the camera is selected. And hit I and insert location rotation keyframe. And as you can see, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Let's uh, input a final keyframe for frame 180 for the camera. Moving up a bit, I think we're good at about here. I'll hit Control Alt and Zero for uh, positioning camera at the place I was looking, and again I'll hit Z and X and Z and Z. Let's move a bit closer, and finally hit the I key to insert a location rotation keyframe for the camera for frame 180. And as I said before, the noise is moving the uh, empties and therefore affecting the arrays. And we can move on in certain keyframes for, you know, a lot of frames and we can create a nice little animation. So this is it. I'm going to pick a nice spot. I want to render an image. Let's select uh, this one at frame 120. I'm selecting the uh, pyramid here. Let's add a material. Click new. And let's set it to a nice strong color at about here okay and what i'll also do is move over to the world options click this little blue sphere and i'll add some uh, environment lighting set it to white it is actually set to white and i'll increase the samples to eight and what i'll also do is select the lamp here the light and simply, I'm going to change it, click this little icon to move over to the lamp options, from point to sun. Okay. So let's take a look, let's render an image. And this is how it looks. And let's also move back to take a look at the animation. Okay. Hitting play. Okay. And this one looks pretty nice. And you can also add all sorts of stuff using compositing or uh, using different objects and arrays and, uh, and all this stuff. I'm going to add some more keyframes to this one. I'm, I'm also going to render some animation for you to see. So this is hopefully a quick one and an easy one. And this is a pretty easy way to create some cool animation. So this is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.